We really wanted to design a completely new inverter that is to be extremely inexpensive to buy and can be used anywhere in the world. The challenge was so vague and the guidelines so far apart, coupled with a time span of only nine months, that we had absolutely no idea if we could even achieve our goals. It was necessary to try out a few methods, innovation methods, as well as the Scrum method and Agile methods. And of course, it was also necessary to have a product concept at the end that moves us further for future generations, for the next generation of inverters. As such, the projects are normally subject to immense forces. And here, we really said not to ask in advance if we were allowed to do something, but just to do it, and preferably to wait until later on to apologize if that is necessary. In other words, just go for it. The idea was that every component could only cost one euro. And what can we get for just one euro? This is an exciting question. If we look at things this way, we can find components that can meet this challenge. The fact that the customers specified what we have to do, and the team decided how we can solve the problem or the task, this was new for SMA, and awoke a great deal of energy in people. This made for a great deal of fun, and the results were absolutely amazing. We asked customers what they think of our draft. For this purpose, we invited 10 to 20 installers and presented the concept to them. We also had the installers install the device for real, to get feedback from them and to see what works well and what doesn't. This helped us ultimately develop a better product. And the installers reacted very well to this, to the fact that we asked them to have a say in matters, that they were involved in this. The employees were also involved in the workshops and could see what their concept was developing into in real-life testing. We also did this worldwide and could see here that we got very different answers in subdivisions, at least as far as Germany and America are concerned. And this shows how difficult it is to develop a product for all markets worldwide, all at the same time. What impressed me most about the project was SMA's courage in doing something completely new, the willingness of the managing board to see this through to the end, even in the face of resistance, to simply give the team support, to really say to the team, do what you have to do and ask questions afterwards. What emerged is an outstanding product that we are now incorporating into series development. And this naturally means that more attention must now be paid to processes for quality, purchasing, etc. A product that could easily become an affordable product for the entire world in the field of residential systems.